Your brother? Father and I had wondered where you had gone. I've been looking all night for her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Well, where did she go? Disappeared like a fine morning mist. Ah, she was lovely. <laughs> the loveliest. <laughs> I'm not so certain of that. I must confess I too have found a lovely maiden. She lives here in the woods. In the woods? In the top of a tall tower that has no doors or stairs. Where? Two leagues from here, due east, just beyond the mossy knoll. And, uh, how do you manage a visit? I come to the bottom of her tower, and I call up to her, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, <laughs> let down your hair to me. And she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, which I climb to her. <laughs> Rapunzel! Rapunzel! What kind of name is that, you jest? I speak the truth. She is as true as your maiden. Besides, who ever heard of a maiden running from a prince? None would run from us. Yet, one has. Did I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony beyond power of speech When the one thing you want Is the only thing out of your reach High in her tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her air. Blithe and becoming, and frequently humming a light-hearted air. Ah, agony far more painful than yours. When you know she would go with you, if there only were doors. Agony, oh, the torture they teach. Once as intriguing, or half so fatiguing, as once out of reach. Am I not sensitive, clever, well-mannered, considerate, passionate, charming, as kind as I'm handsome, and dare to a throne? You are everything maidens could wish for. Thank you.